Okay, so on this sheet, um, here's what you're doing. You're using the Pythagorean theorem, just like we've uh, been doing. Okay, but it's in a three-dimensional object. The key on this is to figure out which side you don't need uh, for a triangle, um, uh, which which has to include the side that they want you to find. All right, so one one thing here is they want the diagonal, okay, of each of these shapes. Uh, so one thing not to get confused about is uh, notice the diagonal runs at the bottom of the face, and they call it D, okay. That D is actually the hypotenuse of this triangle where my pen is going. It is actually the hypotenuse, so it's actually side C. So this D is actually side C, okay? All right, the side that you don't need, okay, is this two, okay? You want, you want to use sides one and sides three because at the bottom face, there is a triangle. There is a triangle right there with a, with a right angle at the bottom face, okay? And the, the diagonal, which is side C, okay, that's, it's side C because it's opposite of that right triangle, okay? So this could be A, this could be B, interchangeable, okay? Um, one could be A, three could be B, okay? So let's go ahead and do A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Okay, so you got A is 3, 3 squared plus B is 1, so 1 squared equals, and the D is actually side C, right? That's the hypotenuse, so C squared. Okay, all right, so 3 squared, that's 9, plus 1 squared, that's 1, equals C squared, so you got 10 equals C squared. So, you got to take the square root as your last step, okay? And this is when you get your calculator out. So square root of 10, so I'm going to hit square root of 10, close my parentheses, uh, it's 3.2. We're going to round to one decimal place just like they want you to do in IXL, okay? So uh, the side D, the diagonal there, okay, is uh, 3.2. All right, let's look at number two. Okay, so the right triangle... Uh, or the face they want you to find, the diagonal of the face they want you to find is on the side here. Okay? So the right triangle or the right angle is, is down there. So the side that you don't need is this side 4. Okay? So um, your A and B, this can be A and this can be B. Again, interchangeable. Okay? And again, you're looking for the hypotenuse, the diagonal side. You're looking for the hypotenuse, okay? So that's your D is actually your C, okay? All right, so we're going to plug it in. A squared plus B squared equals C squared, okay? So A is 1, 1 squared, plus B is 2, so 2 squared equals C squared. 1 squared is 1, 2 squared is 4, 1 plus 4 is 5, 5 equals c squared, and the last step is we're going to take the square root. Okay, so I'm going to take the square root of 5 in here, square root of 5, and that comes out to be 2.2. .2. Okay, so I'll put c is 2.2 .2 units long. And then the last one I'm going to do with you is number 3. Alright, so number 3. The diagonal of the face that they want is at the top. It's the top face. Your right angle is right there. Okay, there's your right angle. Okay, so what you need here is that you don't have any sides, but you notice it's a, it's a rectangular prism. These are all rectangles. Uh, so this length at the top here is the same as this length of 5 that is at the bottom of the prism. Okay. So this is 5. This 2 here, okay, is the same as this 2 that is a leg of that triangle. The 2 you don't need is that one. Okay, so this will be your A, this will be your B, or vice versa, switch them around. All right, so you have A squared plus B squared equals C squared. All right, so let's plug in. A is 5, so I have 5 squared, plus B is 2, so 2 squared equals C squared, which is that diagonal side D. Alright, 
Uh, 5 squared is 25. 2 squared is 4 equals c squared. Add them up. 25 plus 4 is 29 equals c squared. And the last step is you're going to take the square root. So let's go ahead and take the square root of 29. And the square root of 29, 5.38. We're going to round it to the tenth and say 5.4. Okay, c is 5.4.